Yo, what the guys. hell's going on here? What the hell? It's probably a float. Yeah, they got a parade for every day of the week in this city. Keep talking shit and see what happens. Because you wouldn't say it to my face because you're a bitch. Well, come down and get fucked up then. I wish you would. Because I'll fucking spin kick you in the sternum, jerk off. Uh, you know what? I got shit I got to do. I got to call you later, Mommy. Jesus. <laughs> That's how you talk to your mom? Dude, what's going on outside? There's like a union issue or something. They're all pissed off. The guy upstairs, Maurice, that owns Webster Hall, he's going to come down here and help me, like, sort it all out, so. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, shit. That's not the blow-up doll I ordered. God, this is bad. We are fucked. What is the big deal? So you have a big giant balloon animal outside your club. I don't I don't get it. It's a balloon rat. Okay, so it's like Thanksgiving Day Parade. They have balloon Snoopies and balloon Garfields. I... Can you explain to him what that means, please, Neil? That rat means we're breaking union laws. People are gonna boycott the club because of this. All right, well, let's figure it out. We can work it out. Put our minds together. I could use your help. I happen to have a seaside shack in Cape May that I was going to go to this weekend. Maybe you come with me, hang out, me and you, shirts off, some tantric massage. There's a hot nude yoga class we could take. <laughs> Yo, Neil. Ah, fuck. What's up, Neil, baby? Hey. Hey, yeah, hey, this is uh, this is Maurice. Maurice owns Webster oh, Hall. Oh, yeah, you know, you. Yeah. Oh, really nice to meet you finally. Hey, brother. Joe I, back I, there. I really apologize. I did not want to meet you under these circumstances, but I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. I thought they were just gonna fill that rat with candy and like hit it with a stick, but it's some real shit. Like we're not even a union shop, so I have no idea where this came from. Let's put our heads together, man. We gotta figure something out. I mean, you want to help, honestly? Yeah. All right. Here's what we could do. I have a bungalow in Fire Island, okay? I get it half the year. We just get away from this, like, just clear our heads out. I got a fridge full of whites in. I got a uh, Harvey Milk, the uncut Blu-ray with the money shots. Maybe some penis origami. I don't know, something. Penis origami? Yeah, the folding, you know, you make like a swan or something. This is like around the holidays. Uh, I'm, I've actually, I got plans. Me and Paulie's gonna help me think of some ideas out and... Uh, my place I was, camp. but this weekend actually is hair weekend. I got to wash. Well, there you go, buddy. So you're all mine this weekend. Actually, we're about to go meet Dina for lunch. We were, you know what? I'm going to grab a bite with these guys. We got to work it out. Could you please? I'd rather you right. didn't. We'll talk right. after. Right after. Right after. We'll talk right after. We have to work this out. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get what's so funny about it. You honestly don't see the irony in this whole situation? I don't even know what that word means, so no. Dude, this exact same thing happens to me all the time. Who's doing that to you? I'd slap him in his mouth if I found someone was doing that to you. Oh, boy. Yo! You're the one! I make you feel uncomfortable. All the fucking time! How do I make you uncomfortable? What Maurice did to you is what you do to me. How do you not see that? Shit. Now I feel really bad. Why don't you do me a favor? Come at me for an hour. It was one of those fuck motels on the side of the LIE. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm my baby hey, boys. Hi. Neil. What? Hey, fellas. You remember guy. Darren from the cutting room? Yeah, jazz club, right? You remember Darren, yeah. right? Yeah. How you guys doing, man? Darren yeah. called me, and he had a pitch he wanted to give to you guys, and I told him I was coming to lunch, and he could come along. Okay. I want you to play at a political rally. It's for a local Brooklyn guy running for state senate. His name is Simon K. I never heard of him, but who cares who it's for? That's not our thing, politics. You're not selling it too good right now. All you gotta do 
is come up with your own campaign song that oh. kind of personalizes oh, is that it? <laughs> Senator Kay. Okay. Well, look, if you didn't lose us before, you just lost us. Seriously, you would want us to do something that we have no interest in, and we got to write a whole nother song and I mean, customize I, I, it. It's $10,000 for the gig. What? what? I love politics. One song? $10,000? So you guys in? The answer is yes. yes. Done. Boom! In it? Put it in! $10,000! See you guys tomorrow at the campaign office, all right? You got it, buddy. We call you. Oh, oh, my we God. really need this. If you guys snuggle up with this guy and get in with him really good, you can help me out with my problem. They could get this giant rat taken down from in front of my club. We could probably put the word out. That's how politics works. Like, I'll scratch your back, then you scratch my front, and then I'll whistle into your pee hole. Ugh. So what's the etiquette when you meet a politician? I mean, like, do they have like a secret handshake that you gotta give, or can you not touch them at all, like the Queen of England? No, with the state senator, I think you're actually supposed to kiss him on the lips. It's true. Just be glad it's not the governor, then it could really get crazy. Do you even know what a state senator is? That's a good question. What the hell is a state senator? Uh, We're so excited to meet this guy, I don't even know what he does. Okay, let me break this down to you. Think of American Idol, okay? You know how they have judges and they have contestants? The senator is the judge and the laws are the contestants. Right. You know, hopefully this guy, Simon K, is like Simon Cowell. That would be great. Mm -hmm. right. If we get like a Paula Abdul, then the neighborhood kind of goes to shit. That's Please it. don't embarrass me today. It's all a mistake. We're not a union yeah, house. A this has to be moved. We have to move it off my property. I don't speak Hebrew. Uh, Wait, forklift. Is it forklift? If I had a forklift, I'd use it to move this fucking giant rat out of the street. Oh, still with this? What the, if you only speak Ewok, why do they have signs in English? Who made that for them? Listen, dude, my head is killing me from this. Could you just rub my temples? No. Can I just rub your temples? No! Well, I might just come in your hair, dude. Split the difference. In this humidity, I'm gonna get flyaways. So this is what a campaign office looks like. This is exciting. I'm excited. Who's running, man? You have to? This is ridiculous in here. I don't think I would have ever picked up a guitar if I'd known there were so many hot women in politics. Now, all of a sudden, you're interested in politics? Well, I didn't know it was like this. I vote every year, religiously. Shows up. Yes. I don't believe Your nose that. is growing. It gets bigger than that? I think it's a sacred duty as an American. And to tell you the truth, I don't think you have the right to complain about the All-Star Game unless you vote. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ladies and gentlemen, future state senator, Mr. Simon K. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys nice doing? Nice to meet you. How are you? So I'm super psyched to hear about you guys playing at the rally coming up because I'm going to get great buzz. And I also want to give you a personal invitation to my summer house up in Nova Scotia for the post-rally party. And Zebby will take care of the paperwork. I'm on I that. i got to get going. Politics meeting to go to. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Great. Definitely. Oh, hold on one more thing. Yeah. We actually have this uh, friend of ours. He owns this club, and he's got a bit of a union problem happening out in front. You think maybe you can talk to some people, grease some wheels? Sure, no maybe? problem. Just look really? for, a, it's a big rat. It's a right. good thing you remembered. Listen, listen. He invited you to Nova Scotia, man. Do you know what that means? Titties. This is going to be the best thing you've ever seen. Look around his office. All he has is beautiful girls, man. Why do you think I'm in there? I own a jazz club. I don't give a fuck about him. I'm in this because you go to this summer house. It's going to be despicable, man. You Put your evil hats on. Someone look at me. Why are you doing this? If you're all here, who's selling weed in the Bronx right now? Oh, uh, Paulie, that is what I needed right there. Oh, it's cool to call me Paulie, dude. Fuck, come hey. on, Maurice. You're not helping. Oh, my God. What's happening? Are they, go are they leaving? Yeah. Now we don't have to go to your bungalow on Fire Island and talk about nothing. I know, dude. We can just hang out in the sun, man. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have a bonfire. We're going to have a dick fight in the beach like samurais at sunset. And whoever loses has to clean all the fish. That's the rules, dude. What rules? Of Bushido, of dick fighting. Bushido? Yeah, Bushido. You know, like two warriors fight with their dicks. And then, like, one warrior is victorious. And then that warrior's two friends, Gary and Tony, come over to his bungalow and shoot ropes on your beard. I'm going to look that up. 
Oh, whatever. It's a martial art. The point is, I'm not into belts. I'm into ropes on you. Guys. Yo. I just spoke to Neil. The rap people are gone. Kay probably made a call and got rid of them. Yes. It's good to know the man. And yes. we're going to Nova Scotia, baby. Oh, yes. It's the Caribbean of Canada. Well, hold on. OK, let's focus on the main point right now. We need a song that we can incorporate his name into for the rally. Like All In, if we did like Simon's In. We have a song with K in the title, If You See K. You can't curse at a political rally. There's no curse words in that song, is there? Really? OK, what's the name of the song? If You See K. OK, what does that mean? I don't know. You're looking for K. What the hell do I know? That's one meaning, and now say it fast. If you see K. Whoa. Aha. Uh -huh. That's how we wrote it, you moron. But, really? Yeah. But I just realized a way we can use that, though. If you vote K. All right. Am I a problem solver? Hey, Dina, we got it. We got it. We got the song we're going to do with What do you mean we got it? I got it. It's great. You know, what's the matter? Look at this crap. The FBI is investigating K. Oh, no. They think he's got ties to organized crime. You see? I told you it was too good to be true. No, you didn't. Dina, so what are we going to do? We can't be tied into the mob. Of course not. We're not going to be tied into the mob. I'm going to call Darren. I'll sit down with him, and we'll talk, OK? Ooh. If you sit down with the mob, that means you get whacked in the Pine Barrens. Right? You're watching way too many movies. I will call you when I know something, all right? I'll be back. Have lunch. Have a great time. I have a bad feeling that after this, Dina's going to be sleeping with the fishes. Who cares? Dina sleeps with everybody. Isn't it just a beautiful day? You know, you got to love Manhattan. Why the fuck are we on this bus? We're here because I need to know what that article in the paper was about. I wanted to make sure we were somewhere in the open air so we will be safe from the Mafia and safe from the FBI. Look, is Simon Kane the Mafia or not? Of course he's not. Then why do all these people look so suspicious? And I am not being paranoid. Look at these two. They don't go together, those two girls. They don't look like they'd be friends. FBI. Listen, let me say this. I understand that you're nervous about these accusations, but I can assure you Simon has nothing to do with the Mafia. Don't worry about it. OK. I, OK. All right. Can we get off this fucking bus? Not for 20 minutes. I'm sorry, we have 20 minutes. What are we going to do for 20 minutes? <laughs> Just look around. Oh, it's Dina. Hello. Simon K is definitely in the mafia. Really? We cannot do the rally. Really what? OK. Watch your ass. I got to go. All right, bye. He's in the mafia. No way. That, she just told me we cannot do this rally. Oh, we can't do it. Listen to me. I'm not pissing away $10,000 because Dina said so. I know people in the old neighborhood, OK? I can reach out, get some information, and find this out for sure. What people are you going to talk to? I know guys that know guys. I know guys who know guys. The guys that you know and the guys that they know are all idiots. Trust me on this one. Let's go. Just stand behind me, all right? I'm going to do all the talking. That's Teddy. I remember him from when I was little. Excuse me. Teddy. Teddy the nose? Who are you? Joey Casada. I used to play stickball here when I was little. Joey Casada. Mikey's kid. Yeah. Maronna me, look at you, huh? You still never got a haircut, huh? Eh? Since third grade, you know me. <laughs> hey. How are you? How's everything? Eh, uh, not good. Look at the neighborhood. Everything's changed. Nothing's the same anymore. You never change. You look exactly uh, the same. Yeah, yeah, that's because I moisturize, you know? Oh, that's so, nice. Uh, that's uh, nice. Listen, I need some information on this politician guy, uh, Simon K. You know anything about him? I don't know nothing anymore, Joey. Things have changed. I mean, I got no more juice. Uh, hey, this place, no more Italian social club. You kidding uh, me? What is it? Buddhist temple in the back, whole leaf tea shop in the front. Really? Yeah, I'm studying to be a monk, too, myself. You're kidding. Tight. I swear to God, if things go well, I'm going to have my papers by Labor Day. You want organic clover honey with tea? Yeah, come on, Patsy, put it down. It's a yeah. new one we're trying. Good, yeah. yeah, organic clover honey. Oh, looks That's nice. good. Patsy, go ahead, get out of here. And call your mother. So, Teddy, what, what should I do if I need this information? you got to go see Don Vito. Where is he? The bocce courts. The indoor ones or the outdoor ones? What do you think he's an animal? You know once. 
Thank good. you so much. It's so good to you. see you. Yeah, get a haircut, huh? No, come on. Show him. All right. For respect. Patsy, did you call your mother? They got bocce ball. Relax. This place is uber Italiano. Yeah. If Godfather, Goodfellas, and Raging Bull had a threesome, and somehow they had a love child from that threesome, this would be the kid. Guys, please do me two favors. Don't say anything stupid and keep your mouth shut. Isn't that like a variation of the same thing? Just stay here and watch bocce ball, okay? I'll be right back. Don Vito? Hey, it's Joey Casada from the old neighborhood. Giuseppe. Yeah. You're Michael's kid. Yes, yes. Hey, how, how are you? Doing? So good to see you. I used to play stickball with your son Vito down at 207 Schoolyard. Yeah. yeah. How's he doing these days? He's a drag queen. Oh, my God. My condolences. No, 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 no. He's doing very well. He's down in Miami. He does an Ava Gardner that would bring a tear to Frank Sinatra's eye. All right. Well, that's good. As long as you're proud of him, right? Yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good. Oh. I went down to the old store to see you. And, uh... You went to the fucking Buddhist temple. I couldn't believe it. You believe that shit? Nah, but I tell you what. They got a beautiful cup of chamomile. Now, what can I do for you, kid? I'm trying to get some information on this guy, Simon K. The politician? Yeah, you know, is he one of us? Well, not one of us, not one of me. One of you. You know, one of this guy right here, he's definitely in. The guy back here with the cards, he's he's in, right? You know, in the, uh, in the... You know, the mafia? Kid, come in. You got nothing to worry about. Simon K is not in the mafia. Oh, thank God. Don Vito, you have no idea. And more importantly, there is not now, nor has there ever been, nor will there ever be a mafia. What? Oh. Of course there's no such thing as the mafia. Just a soul shaker. Are we gonna do full court or half court? It's always full court, dumbass. Listen, kid. You came to me with all respect. Thank you. But your it. boys down here, what are they doing? You wanna get them out of here, oh, please? Oh, no. Don Vito, I'm so sorry. Do me a favor. Thank you for your help. I'll see you soon. Sta corta. My hands are you disgusting. Do Why don't you guys wear gloves? This what is are you two idiots doing? Come here. What? I got the information we need. Simon K is not in there. Mafia? No. We can play the rally. We're good. Great. I, Let's go. I got to say goodbye to my paisanos. Brother, it's been real. Zain gazon, Baruch Hashem. Guys, I'm sorry. Look. I have no respect for the club. This is international. I'll teach you that throw later, OK? I'll see. Ah! Good to see you guys again, Dina. How come you don't like me? I like you, I just don't trust you. Uh, anyway, he gonna come out, say hello, talk some shit. He might even sing with you, he's goofy like that. What? One thing you don't do, just don't mention the paper. Don't here he comes, here he comes. Go get the water. Hey, how you guys Hi, doing? Good seeing you again. Hey. Darren taking care of you guys. I really yeah. Yes, yes sir. sir. You know that whole thing with the newspaper? I'm sorry about that. Listen, it's just lies. Just pack of lies. And if nothing else, please, you guys can really trust me. One thing, I've got something for you guys here. A token of our appreciation. Case of wine. This is for the post rally party up in Nova Scotia. <laughs> Nova Scotia, the Brazil of Canada. I thought it was the Caribbean of Canada. That's Ottawa. Oh. Thank you very, very That's much enough. on behalf of the band. Yep. Thank this you. Is, this is going to be great. Enjoy the wine, fellas. I'm going to do the it wine. this. Here. No, I get it. There you go. Sure. Oh, good God. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Just put it in the van, Dina. No problem. Got it. Bye, bye, Senator. Simon. Kay. Senator. Next Senator. I want you to do two things. I want you to vote, vote for me, and give it up to our special guest, ZO2. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say how uh, honored we are to be here to support the uh, future state senator. 
Thank you. He's a great politician, he's a great man, and more importantly, he has nothing to do with the mafia. Okay? Yeah, you can applaud, because that's a good thing. And with that, I say, let's rock! Oh yeah! Hey! Where is your vote, okay? You'll be a winner! FBI, you're under arrest. Darren? Who the fuck is Darren? I still say he's innocent. He was just hauled away by a troop of FBI guys. You got the wrong guy? There's no way Don Vito was wrong. Are you kidding me right now? What? Gentlemen. What are you doing? That's all wine! Gentlemen, we have been tracking Mr. K for a long, long time. Here it is. Mr. K was trying to dupe you into smuggling cocaine into Canada. Are you kidding me? Now we're never going to get to see Nova Scotia. You know they say that's Brazil of Canada? No, that's Toronto. Nova Scotia is the Columbia of Canada. Nothing but drug smugglers up there. The wine case is full of cocaine. What kind of a rookie move is that? That's not how you smuggle drugs. You smuggle drugs in your ass. Oh. I smuggled a little pot across state lines once. Hey, how much pot did you have? It was just a half-smoked joint, really, but I still put it up there. Oh. You asked. Neil, I need the remote. Channel 3. No, no. What happened? Watch this. Thanks, Larry. This is Debbie DeMontague reporting live in Brooklyn on the breaking Simon K situation. The FBI has just released conclusive evidence tying Simon K to a drug smuggling operation funded by the Russian mob. I told you he wasn't in the mafia. Live in downtown Brooklyn Which, the by the way, does not, will never, and has never existed. Who the hell are you talking to? For Men on the Street commentary, I'm here with local business owner Pasquale DiGiorno. Mr. DiGiorno, thoughts on the Simon K situation? This guy here, I don't like him. That's uh, your friend. I gotta tell you guys, this whole situation has really portrayed Italians in a beautiful, beautiful light. I'm Debbie De Wait. For all your Buddhist temple and organic tea needs, we're featuring clover honey over there. Come down to Patsy's for a discount, rub the belly three times. I'm out. Okay, well, maybe not such a beautiful life. Here we go again. again. Really? What are we gonna do now? I don't know. You like well, you as soon as I heard. Oh, oh God. Now do you see why we have to go to the cabin? They're never gonna leave us alone. We've gotta get out of the cities. We'll all split up, okay? All right. You guys take the van. I've got a place in the woods. It's okay. the only way. Look at that thing. Look at this! Listen, I'm gonna take care of it, okay? You guys wanna be a slave to the system you go for. I'm gonna take care of this shit. Maurice, what's he doing? I don't know. But he's doing it sexy. Looks like the cub has finally become the bear. It's time for a little anarchy! Oh. So blue, you <laughs> dead <laughs> It's fighting back! Mark.